is Rail's nuclear triad. Don't ask, don't tell. Nine countries in the world have nuclear weapons, but officially, only five are supposed to. The five original nuclear powers are the US, Russia, the UK, France, and China. This is the basis of the 1968 Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, NPT. Almost all the countries in the world have signed it. Can you guess which ones haven't? Yep, those that decided they'd rather have their own nukes. Specifically, these are India, Pakistan, and Israel. North Korea did join the NPT, but later withdrew. Of these four, Israel is an outlier. The country has never admitted to possessing nuclear weapons. Yet it hasn't denied it either. Israel's nuclear policy is one of deliberate ambiguity. A popular joke goes, we don't have any nukes, but won't hesitate to use them. This certainly works as a deterrent. No one harbors any doubts as to Israel's nuclear capabilities. They built their first warhead all the way back in 1966. It had the words never again stamped into it in English and Hebrew. Moreover, unlike many others, Israel has a nuclear triad. That's a three-pronged structure that guarantees a second strike. A triad consists of lend launch missiles, submarines, and strategic bombers. This also means having an arsenal of ICBMs and SLBMs, SLCMs. An atomic bomb is one thing, but a submarine needs a missile. The idea is simple. Let's say a hostile country launched an attack. They took out your missile silos in one fell swoop. This would leave you extremely vulnerable. Moreover, it would completely erase the deterrent value of having nukes. If they can be destroyed before you can launch them, what's the point? So nuclear powers came up with this brilliant idea. Submarines armed with SLBMs are constantly on patrol. Strategic bombers are constantly on the wing. Any first strike would be answered with a second strike. Today, only the US, Russia, China, and India have the triad. Officially, Russia has gone a step further by introducing railroad mobile ICBMs. These are being moved around the country all the time. This constant patrol is vital, whether it's a boat, a plane, or a train. Nobody can pinpoint their location and take them out in a first strike attack. So what about Israel's triad? Very little is known about the Israeli stockpile. It may have as few as 80 or as many as 400 active warheads. What it certainly has is a fleet of Dolphin-class submarines. The sea-based arm of the triad is the most survivable. Nuclear-armed submarines can disappear for weeks. Their patrol routes are highly classified. Israel's subs are pretty small, but they are lethal. Each has four large torpedo tubes in the bow, capable of launching missiles. Nobody knows what type of SLCMs Israel has. They are probably based on Israeli Popeye missiles. The cruise version is Popeye Turbo, propelled by a turbofan engine. The Dolphin subs reportedly carry up to 16 torpedoes and missiles. At least one submarine is always on patrol. It can strike Iran from off the coast of Syria. From time to time, Israel demonstrates its capabilities. In 2013, it carried out a missile strike against Latakia, Syria. It destroyed a shipment of Russian Yakont missiles. Later reports claim a dolphin was responsible. During the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Defense Minister Moshe Dayan was restless. He urged Prime Minister Golda Meir to demonstrate a nuclear option. That's the last thing we need. Mayor replied, 